Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper, with a product review today. Yeah, I know, you're going to get tired of product reviews, but this thing is really cool. And it's a device that's really useful to uh, troubleshoot electronics, but not just that. It's also useful for preppers, for other things that we're going to talk about in a minute. Now, some people in the comments have said, well, those product reviews are just advertisements, but of course, for the companies that send me the stuff, uh, it is advertising, but to me, it is an opportunity to show you new stuff, useful products, and things that uh, I get free. <laughs> but the difference between uh, a product review and advertisement is that for a product review, I can say whatever I want about the product. If I see something that's bad, I'm going to say it out outright. I have recently refused to review a 3D printer because I couldn't say whatever I wanted about it. And I refuse a lot of stuff that has nothing to do with radio or electronics, but this little guy does. And it's tiny. It's a thermal camera. This little guy has a focusable lens, so you can see very close and you can see pretty far, which we'll, we'll talk about prepping later. It has a USB-C connector and it's IP65, so, you know, well, maybe not the connector, but the, uh, the camera is protected against the elements. It can detect temperatures from minus 20 Celsius to uh, plus 450 Celsius, so a large uh, range of temperatures. And the advantage, of course, is that you uh, don't have to buy a device that has a screen and the whole nine yards, so it's cheaper. It, it's not that cheap, but it's, uh, it's definitely cheaper than other devices because you use your phone. Now, I'm not going to show it on my phone because I'm filming with my phone, <laughs> but you uh, imagine how you just plug it in and that's it. You can see heat instead of light and that's amazing. <laughs> how is this useful for electronics? Well, of course, to look at a circuit and uh, see if components are overheating. And that's a very big clue as to you know, what is wrong on a circuit board. And that's its main use for electronics. Of course, you could use it for mechanical things like, you know, to detect friction that produces heat because it will detect any source of heat. And we are going to see that right now. As an example, here's my uh, Wi-Fi router and my Mac Mini. And you really can tell if it's on or off here. But let's try with the uh, thermal imager. And now that is a whole different story, guys. Look at this source of heat here. You can change the way uh, you see the image. So here we can see also the Mac Mini glowing. And of course, this can work in a perfectly, uh, in a perfectly dark room with absolutely no light. It doesn't make any difference. And now we can see the difference in temperature. You have a white hot black hot that's probably better to uh, detect animals this one i really like it's kind of a uh, well i don't know it's a colored uh, you know red hot or orange hot in this case and you have uh, some kind of a night vision mode here but it really doesn't do much for me i really uh, prefer this mode and of course i uh, forgot to focus <laughs> remember you can focus this so i can make it very sharp which you didn't see before. Here we go. Now we're talking. So the definition is pretty decent for the price. Here I'm in my uh, parking garage and you can see that this car has been used uh, recently. Here on the rooftop of my uh, supermarket and you see those people walking there. It's very visible. Uh, you just can't miss them. The motorcycles here, same thing. The engines are glowing. People are walking probably about a hundred meters away there, so uh, it has a pretty good range for detection. And now we see a bird <laughs> flying over town. Amazing. Uh, another motor running that had run recently there, someone walking my truck and a few people there. So I will show you how sensitive this device can be. This is a wall. It's my bathroom wall. It's tile. I'm going to put my hand on it. One prairie doggy, two prairie doggy, three prairie doggies, four prairie doggies, five prairie doggies. And yep, you can see the uh, residual heat of my hand here. 
I will show you how I plug it in. So just in the uh, USB-C here, the app will pop up automatically. And then I have the image showing up. Okay, here we go. So we have the, uh, the modes here, the different colors we can choose. I have a warm cup of water. So this is white hot. We have black hot. We have uh, red hot here with the orange colors. And we have the green mode. So I prefer this one once again. So you can choose different modes. And uh, we have a uh, crosshairs here. Different settings for the, uh, for the colors. Here we have the uh, the temperature. And of course uh, we can take uh, photos here and videos. And you have access to the settings which are numerous. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with this. The app is uh, pretty easy to use. I didn't even uh, look at the manual, but hey, that's what we men do, right? By the way, when you get this model, you get a, a handle here that's really useful. Actually, I'm going to use this for filming. And uh, you put your phone here and the camera right there. And you can just point it to wherever, you know, what you want to detect. The photos and videos produced are HD and it can show you the actual temperature of the components. Am I going to use this for electronics? Yes, definitely. But probably not very often. So I wouldn't buy it personally just for that. I mean, except if I worked in a lab all day, you know, every day, but I just build a kit once in a while. So to me, it's not worth the price, but it is worth the price for detecting humans and animals. So for prepping, it's an absolutely invaluable tool because of course, you know, you can imagine if you're hunting small game at night or, uh, you know, when it's not that bright or, you know, even a rabbit hiding in a bush, you might not see it if it's not moving. But with this camera, you, it will glow like red coals, you know, and for people hiding in the bushes, uh, you can see them too. To me, it is a dual use system, you know, electronics on one side and prepping on the other. And I probably would have gotten one of those uh, devices sooner or later. I'm not sure if I would have uh, gotten one with a phone, maybe like more of a monocular, but I think iRay uh, has products like that. So uh, check out their website. I'll put the link down below. I think they're going to have some uh, big discounts uh, for uh, Black Friday. All right, guys, that's it for this video. So go check out the uh, X Infrared website. As to myself, I will definitely keep it. That's usually I give away stuff that I receive, you know, but uh, this one I'm keeping for myself because uh, it's going to be very useful and I'm going to uh, test it out in nature. It doesn't weigh anything. It's just, you know, something like that in a backpack. Uh, you just forget about it. It's something that I definitely could see uh, having in my EDC. There are so many things it could be used for. The list is endless. Just use your imagination. Yes, it's a little bit of a gadget, but uh, definitely uh, the day you need it, uh, you're going to be happy you have it. Have a good one.